All right, people, day 12. This is the soilless mix I came up with that I offer and sell. You have to email me though if you want some, if you're interested. And this is the soilless, or excuse me, the soil. Pretty even tie if you ask me. Two separate trays, two different grow medias. Soil, soilless. So the next scene, I'll show you how this works. This is self-watering. I initially water it the very first time just to prime everything. And then River Ponics takes care of the rest. I wish you could smell the aroma of these greens. It's pretty spectacular. It's amazing. So I'll be back. This is the uh, brewer that feeds the 2x4 grow tent. And this brewer, and this setup here is actually feeding two grow tents. Here's the other grow tent, 2x4. So I'm feeding two grow tents off my patented brewer. And I'll be right back. All right, lifted the two trays off the river ponics and brought them over here. This is the soil, and here's how the wicks work. And I just have two, kind of catty corner. That's it, just two of them. There's my cat. That's Marley. Hey Marley, hopefully you don't jump up there and knock this over. <laughs> so I got two wicks on that one. This is the soil. Greens are beautiful. I'm going to put these in a smoothie. And this is the soil -less. So both of them did pretty good. Here's the wicks. Now you can see this one has, and it's still dripping water out. Look at that. But this one has a little more roots coming out the, the wicks. Versus the soil. There's a few of them, but not like the soilless. Kind of interesting. All right, stay tuned. One more scene. Come over here, get a good look. You're back. All right, dinner is served, folks. There's the soilless. Not sure if you can see, but right there is the one of the wicks right here, circle. And you can see the the soilless mix is nice and moist. Put it right on a dinner plate here. That's what we got. And then here is the soil. There's the wick, one of the wicks, and you can see the soil is nice and moist. Self-watering guys, it works man. Very exciting. There's a lot of potential with river ponics and growing microgreens. You know your imagination is really um, there's really no limit on this, so you could really have a massive microgreen production with river ponics. And I have different ideas as far as wicking as well. Um, but yeah, there's your update, so Hope you like it. Um, just keep in mind too that I do finance too through PayPal. So if you want, if you are interested in purchasing anything with River Ponics, anything over a hundred dollars is financed for six months, zero percent. All right, you have to go through the prompts on PayPal, but that option is absolutely available. So it makes it a little more flexible for um, for purchases. Thank you for watching. Take care.